Oh boy. <laughs> well, well. No, it's because he's the boss. What can we say or do? You know? Uh, nothing. You know? <laughs> I'm not the boss. The bowlers are the boss. <laughs> well, he got the spare. Well, didn't get the towel, but down by five pins. Still anybody's yeah, game. Close match here. Let's see what DJ does. Looks like um, he's he's moving more left on the approach. Ten uh, pin. Pesky ten pin. Two ball for the spare. A special thanks goes out to Art and Science for doing all of our sign work. If you need signs, banners, or lettering done, call them at 841-8591. That's Art and Signs, 841-8591. DJ's got a spare. Maintains his slim lead of five pins. Boy, two ten. That's my favorite split. Two ten and friends. <laughs> and that's that's a difficulty of lane five because the fronts don't push very, very well. So if you move your feet left, the ball flies to the break point sometimes. So it's quite tricky to spare. Okay, open frame now. Let's see what Jared does. He's been training pretty much all through this mm -hmm. match here. But a mark here will put him in the lead. Over the 10 board. Ooh, a little bit light. Oh, got the sleeper back there. 2-8. Got it on the 10, but pushed it maybe out to about the 8 board at the break point, which was just a little too much. Needs to pick up the spare. Watch the back pin, the sleeper eight pin. No problem. problem. Straight at it. That's the best way normally. You know, sometimes uh, at home you think, oh, this is just a spare. But believe me, that's a big spare right there. Yep. Sometimes spares will win them for you. Mm-hmm. Oh. Almost got the mix. Well, he's pushing it right. He's getting it through. Here, here comes a replay. What's the head pin? The somersault. Oh, right oh, over. Oh, <laughs> over the eight pin. No wonder. Well, you know when you said sometimes spares will win the game, but also... Oh. When it's kind of a grind out like this, uh, you know, spares will keep see. you in the game until, right. until the strikes start coming. Yeah, it's easy to strike. When you can't strike, then what? <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's where the spares Ouch. come in. Huh? And like in this case, nice solid hit, solid 10 pin. What do you do? Pick up the 10 pin. Change this ball to a pearlized ball. Yeah. Oh, the spare. Well, I like DJ style. Picks up the uh, ball and straightens his hand out. It's not that hard to do. You just need to a couple practice sessions to get it down. Jared, five pins in the lead. Oh! Makes the strike there. That's a big shot. Ninth frame nice. for DJ. Sets up the tenth frame. Watch this. Sits it out. Break point. Just past the ten board. Can he match the strike? Oh, oh no. no. There's the two ten again. I'm sure he didn't want to leave it. No, absolutely not. Was a terrible time. He's up by three pins, but I think he's going to go for this. 
it's he very makeable. Have to. It's it's makeable. If he can make it, it puts him still in the match. He's going, going for, for it. it. Oh, what a shot. Wow, that's that was TV awesome. Shot. Awesome. <laughs> Terrific. What a shot. Well, it's either you're going to make it or you're going to miss it, right? Yeah. You gotta, sometimes you just got to go for it, and he did. Look at that. What a shot. Great. What a shot. Still three pins up. Oh. Uh, Jared's getting pumped up. He's, I think the last two shots, he threw it a little bit harder. Bucket. Still needs to spare. Still so close. It's not an easy spare right here, too. No. <laughs> Don't chop it. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Yikes. It's so choppable, that spare. Jared Davis finishes with a 153. <laughs> DJ just needs to spare. He needs a mark. Yeah, he needs to spare. Not over oh, with no. Not over Outside. with yet. Oh, no. <laughs> he needs a 2-5. Not an that. easy spare Very either, right? <laughs> okay, let's not jinx this now. <laughs> DJ just picked up his ball. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. He needs a spare. Hoping he knows it. He oh, it. No, okay. safe. That's a winner. <laughs> That's a winner. Okay, semi-final match. We have Thomas Ching, one of our Hall of Famers. And DJ finishes with a bang. So winner of our second TV match, DJ Taylor. 164 over Jared Davis, 153. Stay tuned, we have our semi-final match here to follow. And now for the Strike Up Pro Shop, did you know question of the week? What is the rarest score in bowling? Is it A, 292, B, zero, C, 100, or D, 285? We'll give you the answer at the conclusion of this match. Think about it. Okay, we're here at Poly Lanes, lane number one open. It's our first tournament of our summer season. And here's our fans. Scott Mitamor here with Carolyn Kawano and Shirley Kato. And, so and DJ's DJ, still here. DJ's still here. First time on first TV. First time on TV. Okay. Has won his first two matches. Yeah. Can he get his first title? Oh, first strike well, for, you know. For the game. Luck is part of the game. Well, <laughs> his lane is breaking down. He's yeah. going to have to continue to adjust. But he's challenging our number two seeded player, Thomas Ching who is left-handed. And, and so DJ is going to have the right side all to himself, right? Mm -hmm. well, yeah, from, no, uh, from now on. From now on, yeah. Currently averaging 203, lifetime high 230. Nine 300 games, eight 800 series, lots of times on TV. And 23 titles. He is a platinum banner holder. Platinum, that means? 20 titles. Wow, so that's like... Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. <laughs> yes, the Hall of Famers, Hall of Fame. Uh, <laughs> averaging 245 coming into the match today, coming into this TV match. He had games of 257, 215, 232 for a 704 series. Then he went on to defeat John Purtle, 244 to 202, and then went on to defeat Virgil Dela Cruz, 277 to 155. Wow. He is Big double. Hot. I think that is the first bowler to start out with, with a, a double, double today. Well, and I have a feeling DJ is going to have to keep matching him. He's going to have his hands full right now. Yep. Okay, moving more left on the approach. Oh, a little high. Could have tripped that four. 
needs to edge his way a little bit more left. Hey, JP's reaction pro shot. They're located in the YPU Industrial Court at 94 547 KA Street in Unit 104. Come by and see the latest bowling balls, shoes, and accessories for any level bowler in their beautiful and new comfortable showroom. Have your bowling balls drilled by certified IBPSIA member James Jimbo Pirtle or his dad, high roller champion John Pirtle. Any bowler rolling a perfect 300 game, wearing one of their patches, will receive a $150 gift certificate. JP's Reaction Pro Shop, putting the competition back into bowling. Wow. Call them at 671-5011. Creeping high again on the left lane. Now it needs to continue sparing while the lanes are transitioning. Thomas is sending his special thanks to his significant other, Laura Lynn Sampson, and to his son, Ikaiko. Do you have help, uh, excuse me, do you need help with your bookkeeping payroll or tax preparation? Call Daniel Miyamoto of Dan's Bookkeeping, 4563770. That's Dan's Bookkeeping, 4563770. Wow. Turkey. Okay, first turkey. <laughs> gobble, gobble, going for the canned meat. Spam. <laughs> <laughs> so Thomas says hi to his Hiko guys, the Strikem guys. To his godsons, Keanu Kalaola and Jason Storm Pohas. Also, thanks goes to Chad, Angie, Chloe, Chaston, D, Moku, and Keanu Lei. He is employed at Hiko. Is and that's our first spam. Spam! <laughs> <laughs> well, he's still on a roll from this morning. All that bowling, averaging 246 today, or well, 245, excuse me. Nice. Hey, right? DJ gets a strike. Well, he needs that. Well, he's going to need to get a double here to... to For some catch-up. To not let Thomas get too far ahead. Well, we talked about the big scores, and uh, the first two matches were pretty low scoring. Over. And crossing over leaves a six pin. Now, Q's of Hawaii Services, LLC, your one-stop shop for your real estate mortgage needs, offering various mortgage products. Please contact Virgil De La Cruz. NMLS number 335-909 at 539-0172 to set up an appointment. QSO of Hawaii, NMLS number 325-608 is an equal housing lender. Well, a very surprising miss by DJ. Thomas playing about the 12 board. Wow. Just putting the hammer down. Uh, you know, his opponent, open frame, just came back with another strike. Let's watch it again. He plays like all his other strikes, dead flush. Nice. They do look all the same, don't yeah. they? <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman is a machine. Well, 23 titles. What can, what can you say? say? <laughs> Wait, you're there too. <laughs> but you're just on the wrong the side of the lane. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, oh wow! Dominoes. That's the kind of machine I am. Nah. I leave a lot of those. This goes right through the center. Look at that. 